it was an experience, um, something I had never really dived into. Did not know that it would lead to the path that I've been on. The doors that it's opened have been heaven sent, let me tell you that much. Everything that's represented and presented in Washington's armor, faith-based, you know, everything, divine intervention that happened with George Washington has kind of just carried over into our real lives. It was a limited crew, it wasn't a big crew, uh, but let me tell you what, it was, it was life-changing. For somebody who, I wouldn't say necessarily was lost, but was lost, you know what I mean? It gave me a lot of clarity for things that I didn't even know that I was looking for, uh, especially when it came to relationships. The relationships that I've built on top of this thing, man, it's just, I'm set for life. Nothing could ever go wrong, at least in the eyes of me. That's how I feel. There's a scene where the camera pans down from the top and you see a cloud of smoke and it's just fog and smoky and then all of a sudden you see us three step out. It's me followed by Willie and, and Tim. Right as we're about to say, and action, an eagle flew over right before that. The camera just missed it, but that was something that really stuck out to me. I think it kind of set the attitude of where we were going and what we were doing was right. But being there and seeing it in real life and experience the emotions and the energy that came just from seeing an eagle fly over us as we're about to start, that's something that stuck with me. It's powerful being able to see Native Americans um, portrayed as real Native Americans. To be able to see uh, my people and to have my people look at me as a representation of them, I can't put it into words, it's not, it's undescribable. Growing up in an all white community, I didn't have a bunch of Native American friends. Uh, as a person who wanted to wipe off my skin so I could be white just to fit in, to see that now my skin color is being represented on that big screen, on the TV show. Uh, like I said, man, I'm, I'm very grateful that I went through the things that I went through because now I have a greater appreciation for how I am and for what I look like. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity and it's a, it's a blessing to be able to say that I am a part of something way bigger than me or way bigger than I ever could have of a fathom, of imagined, you should say. George Washington wasn't always, you know, in the best situations, but he came out on top because of his faith and because of his uh, ability to stay strong and just continue pushing on through hard times. And so me being a part of that, yeah, it's, it's pivotal for us to be able to show that, hey, there were natives involved and this is how things went down and they were on different sides of every uh, obligation, every side, I guess you can say, and just representing and being a part of it is just powerful, man. It's, it's cool, it's, it's great, it's really good. Not only emissaries of the crown here, Mr. Gist, but ambassadors of the divine. Every step we take will speak beyond this stony hill. We'll not cross without a vessel. Suppose we return to Logstown, make quarters till the river bids us to cross. Good name, Mr. Gist. Virginia is not prepared for war with France. We shall cross, and without delay.